2015. Um, I'm making this video because I would like to follow up on some previous videos that I posted about my personal life and um, my daughter, who I believe is um, has been experiencing demonic possession. Um, I actually made a video about it uh, a couple of weeks ago where we caught her actually um, acting as if she was a demon. Um, and um, what I didn't uh, put on here was another time we had to um, pray for her um, because, you know, she was acting a certain way. Um, this time was after that time. And, um, you know, I just, after that, you know, I went and bought me some olive oil and was like, you know what, I'm going to just put olive oil on every, every part of my house, every room, every door. And so, you know, naturally, I'm going to put olive oil on her and I'm going to put olive oil on my other children. Um, now, a couple of uh, years ago, I watched this guy's video. He was a prophet, and he kept saying, he was praying, and he was saying, Lord, you know, um, the, protect me from those who want to kill me. And I was thinking in my head, like, where would he get that idea that somebody wants to kill him? Like, you know, and um, so... You know, if you watch my videos, you know that there's some things that I see, um, like in my life, um, that God shows me before it happens, and I share it um, with whoever it was concerning. And, um, you know, I just, when it comes to my children, you, I would never think that the devil would use someone so close to me but at the same time god jesus did say you know you have to be aware of be uh very cautious when it comes to family you know because evidently the devil can use them um and so my daughter um well, a couple of weeks before the first exorcism happened the one that happened at the church parking lot she had uh she said that you know, the demon was mad at me and it wanted to kill me. Um, I didn't make a dream. I mean, I didn't make a video about a dream that I had right after that. But I'm going to tell you about it now. I saw, um, I was in my house and I was walking down my hallway and I came up to her room. And in her room, there was a shadow standing in there. And it was standing there like, kind of like, you know, I couldn't see his face or anything. And so I called for my husband to come and he came and I said, look at it, it's right there. And so when I called him, he came out of the shadow, the man, it was a black man. Um, I really couldn't see his face or anything, but he took a knife and he stabbed my husband and then he stabbed me too. Um, this is not the first dream where I've had, um, where I've seen someone in my house trying to kill me. Um, this is maybe about the third. I've actually seen demons standing in my house, in my house, in a dream, and um, you know. So when when we were doing the last exorcism on my daughter, you know, I asked her what did she want, what did what does this demon want, why does this demon keep coming back, and she looked at me and she said. It wants you, you know, and it's just kind of creepy, you know. I I'm not even gonna lie, it's real creepy the things that she's saying, but you know, the devil, a doorway for the devil is fear, and I I will not let the devil get in through my any of my doorways through fear because I know my God is greater than that, and I don't have to be afraid of anything. But she, you know, she keeps trying to let me know that this demon or whatever is it wants me dead the one that's in her so um my daughter when she was 15 when she was uh, like four or five i sent her to live with my father and his wife in oklahoma they are um they are christians they believe in jesus christ as lord and savior and my father was a preacher so um at the time uh, i was young and i needed some help um, with them. I had my son and daughter at 14 and 15. So, you know, I just, I was trying to 
raise some children and I didn't have anything to raise them with. So, you know, but um, my daughter told some people um, while she was in Oklahoma that she um, wanted to kill me. Now, when did this start? Um, before she left, she would, when she was like four or five, she would come in my room late at night and she would say there was something in her room. And I didn't, I, I wasn't spiritually minded, so I wasn't paying attention really to what she was saying. I just thought she was just making stuff up. And, um, you know, people would, like my stepmom would call me and tell me that she was, she would have these nightmares and stuff like that. Um, so whatever is in her heart has been there a while. So, you know me, I've been doing some snooping, going through her stuff, and just to see where her mind is. As of right now, she's not here. She's back in the hospital. Um, but, you know, I found, found some things that I want to share with you guys. Um, this is a bag. Um, and it's about, uh, I guess, a killer named Jeff. Um, it says, the description, he has black hair, blood red lips, pale white skin, 14 years old, and he's insane. Um, his actions, he stabs, fights, and kills people. And what he say when he's doing it, he says, go to sleep while killing. Now inside the bag. I found this. It's a note that says, go to sleep. Now, it's another, another letter I found of hers. Um, this is James the Insane. And over here, it says scream for me. Nighty night, feel the pain of me going insane. Scream for me, scream for me. Any hole in the knife. This is so disturbing. Um, someone. I can't understand this. I mean, we're not supposed to understand it. We wouldn't understand things that's not meant for the righteous to understand. And um, I don't understand it. I just know that I feel like God is giving me a warning, letting me know that my enemy is in my house and he found a doorway in. And um, it's just, it's a lot to deal with and I don't know what to do here. Um, if she goes to the hospital and I tell them that, you know, I'm really in my life is, you know, she's giving me signs that, yeah, um, <laughs> it's to the point to where we even hide the knives and things in the house. Um, my, a friend of ours that is incarcerated, he wrote a letter this week saying that he saw a dream where um, my husband was murdered and uh, he, was, he was just saying how he was crying and you know things like that man I, when I say I really need um, people of God to pray for me you know what's meant to happen is meant to happen um, but you know I also made a video last year I believe where I saw um, someone come in and kill me um, and he said that I had to die at 33 and um, I'm, I'll be 32 in August um, I don't know what that means I just my thing is I just want Jesus to come and you know take me away from this pain there's nothing like you know when your family members um, become your enemies there's nothing like that because you know you love them unconditionally and you know and no matter what you do 
you are still their enemies. But, you know, um, before me, Jesus was hated, and he said that he would be, um, that we would be hated because of him. And, you know, I completely understand that, and I accept that, but it's hard, you know. Um, I'm not even going to lie. I kind of worry about my son, too. Um, I'm worried about anyone who has that doorway, who lets that doorway open. If you let the enemy in, he's willing to come. And um, it seems as if the enemy is really gunning to take me out right now. But God bless. Keep my family in your prayers. Um, thank you for your prayers if you have been praying. And, um, you know, leave your thoughts um, in, in the comments or whatever. God bless. Thank you.